Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. Today, I'm asking you a question. Are you willing to ask? Are you ready? Let's get started. A while back, I had a blinding flash of the obvious. I wrote a post on LinkedIn, and at the end of the post, I asked a question. It's shocking that that post got the most responses in terms of comments that I've ever gotten before. So I went back and thought about how often do I end with a question? It's not very often. Here's the lesson. Asking can create engagement, not just in social media, but in all sorts of ways. Let's imagine that you're thinking about moving or you're going to move and you got all this stuff to move and you just got a couple people and a couple of small cars. Um, would it be easier if you had help? Sure it would be. How are you going to get help? Asking can get you help. Yes, it can. It's amazing. And now, if you're a leader and you're trying to make a decision, if you're trying to get some input into something, if you want some other somebody else's opinion, what do you got to do? Asking can get you input and ideas. I just said three things. Asking can get you engagement, can get you help, can get you input and ideas. So the question is, are you willing to ask? You know, some people are afraid to ask. Some people don't want to bother others by asking. But think about all three of those situations. Well, maybe not the moving one. But the other two, people are willing to offer. People are willing to engage. And even the moving one, especially if there's pizza involved, they're likely willing to to help, but they won't necessarily offer. So we've got to ask, are you willing to ask? A couple thoughts about being better at asking, especially if you're a little reticent, if you're a little resistant to doing it. The first is to let people know why you're asking. Giving people some context will help. Letting them know that it's you really like their help or their ideas or their engagement without sort of expecting it, because sometimes people are afraid to, like, I don't want to be expecting them to answer my question. So let people know why. Give them context. And then lastly, give them a, give them a chance to engage, to help, and to share. That's the point here, right? One of my mentors often said, Kevin, you have to A-S-K. You have to ask in order to G-E-T, in order to get. If you'd like to learn more about the, some tips on the art of asking, more than we can do in this video, there's a link right here uh, to help you learn more about that art from another one of our past episodes, The Art of Asking. But the question today is, are you willing to ask? I hope now you're a little more than you were before. Let me close with today's tweet. If you want engagement, if you want help, if you want input, you have to be willing to ask. Speaking of being willing to ask, and speaking since I started with LinkedIn, you may not know that I have a LinkedIn newsletter. And if you're on LinkedIn, you can subscribe to Remarkable Results on LinkedIn, and we'd love to send you a new newsletter every Tuesday. Hope you'll do that, and I hope you'll be back with me next week for another episode of Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast.